There's one less veteran running back on the free agency market as James Conner agrees to a deal with the Arizona Cardinals. Here with me to break it down from a fantasy football perspective, SI fantasy analyst Michael Fabiano. Fabs, before we get to the Steelers situation, let's let's talk about the Cardinals, right? Because once Kenyon Drake left, we thought Chase Edmonds was going to be a top 15 running back maybe. But now that James Conner's in town, what do you make of that Arizona backfield situation? Not much, man. I mean, <laughs> this is going to be a headache. Let's put it that way. And there's been more and more of these situations. Now we have it in Las Vegas with Kenyon Drake going to the Raiders and messing up Josh Jacobs' value. Let's put it that way. But in Arizona, I would think James Conner would be the early down back, the goal line back. Chase Edmonds would be the complimentary back, the change of pace back, uh, the top pass catching option out of the backfield there for Kyler Murray. This is going to be a committee. And I understand that a lot of people are excited about Chase Edmonds before this signing. But let's be honest, Edmonds, when he had an opportunity to be a featured back over the last couple of seasons when Kenyon Drake was hurt, didn't really live up to expectations. He's a smaller back. He's not going to be a featured back in the NFL. But James Conner's had some issues staying healthy. He's missed, what, nine games over the last couple of seasons. After he had that huge 2018 campaign when Le'Veon Bell held out, he was a fantasy superstar. Since then, he has not really lived up to expectations. And then at the end of the last season, when the Steelers went so pass-heavy, he was all but invisible from a fantasy football perspective. So I would suggest Conner will probably be drafted ahead of Chase Edmonds in most leagues. I'd rather have Edmonds on my roster. I only play in PPR leagues. He'll be the pass-catching back. And Connor, once again, lack of durability, that's been an issue. And the fact that, well, the Arizona Cardinals are a pass-heavy team that likes to throw the football to their backs, that could benefit Chase Edmonds as well. So based on ADP, based on PPR production, and based on durability, I like Chase Edmonds more than I like James Connor, although Connor will probably be drafted ahead of him in 2021 fantasy leagues. All right, so let's take a look at this Steelers depth chart. On the top, at the running back, is Benny Snell. Then you got Anthony McFarlane. They signed Kalen Balazs. Jalen Sills is still on the roster. Do you see them drafting a running back, or is Benny Snell perhaps going to be the guy in that Steelers backfield? I, I can't see them going into the season with Benny Snell as a starter. They have a late first-round pick, and I, I've been saying this. I would love to see Javante Williams go to Pittsburgh. He would be a tremendous fit there. Forget about Benny Snell and Kalen Balaj and the rest of them. He would end up taking over and being the lead back. But there's a chance because running backs don't get drafted in the first round very much, at least over the last eight to ten years. A guy like Najee Harris could be there for Pittsburgh. A guy like Travis Etienne could be there for the Steelers. And although they need to help the offensive line, that could end up being the direction they go, grabbing that early stud running back. Time will tell. But if the Steelers do draft a running back, and I think they will, maybe it'll be the first round, maybe it won't, that player ultimately will end up being one of the more attractive running backs from a fantasy perspective because, no offense, but Benny Snell is not going to be a lead dog in the National Football League, but a guy like Etienne or Harris or Javante Williams very well could be. We got the NFL draft coming up, plenty more uh, veteran free agency uh, still available to sign with a new team. And, and we're always breaking it down from a fantasy football perspective right here on Sports Illustrated. Follow along for more of Michael Fabiano's awesome analysis. Go to SI.com slash fantasy.